everybody, it's Tanya here. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be channeling a message from the Ursa Minor Collective of Light and they are bringing through an actual example uh, and exercise on how to connect with light language. And I know this is something that a lot of people are finding for the first time and some of you may already be doing it and you might really enjoy their take and perspective on things. So it's a very interesting chat and if you enjoy it, please let me know. Please do like, share and subscribe. It really does help get the word out as I'm a small channel still and you never know who you might be helping by sharing or taking a moment to comment and sharing your own experience. If you are looking for other ways to connect with like-minded people, you can sign up for the newsletter and every month I'm giving away a Starseed activation print or consider joining the Starseed chat group on the Telegram app. Both the links are in the description and I look forward to seeing you there. Okay, here we go with a wonderful example and exercise to get you ready and connected to light language from the Ursa Minor Collective of Light. Our greetings to you, dear ones. For those of you who are connecting with us and our energy at this time, we are excited to share our support and ideas to assist you in your human experience. We come forward with a visual for this conduit today and one which you may, in listening to this transmission, also enjoy as an exercise of energy to connect with your inner knowing and to uh, begin to transmute and connect with the light language and light codes which come into your energetic field. As we have said previously, these are simply names that are being used by the human at this time in order to create an understanding for the influx of energy and frequency on the planet at the time of the transmission. Now we bring forward our energies into a very concentrated stream. And so imagine, if you will, that your body and being is a home, or you may en envision a larger space, such as our conduit, who is seeing a library. And so you are within this space, but the space is also you. And in this particular example of this library, there is a glass structure that goes from the top to the bottom, almost like a tube that you would call it, or a channel. And through this channel, we are bringing concentrated light, energy, and vibration for you to witness. And so if you use this visual, you may think of yourself as a being who has uh, many floors in your library. Each floor for different subjects and different books, however you like to organize it or think of it. It may not even be for books, it may be for something that you love to collect or whatever your hobby is. But it is a space of love and light. And here you may go from layer to layer, from platforms or different levels, and view through this glass these lights of energy that are coming forward. And that is the transmission of energy as it comes through into your body and beingness. For it is traveling through. It is not affecting you unless you wish to interact with it. So that gives you the freedom of choice. It gives you the freedom of movement. And it gives you the freedom to allow yourself to view what you wish uh, for your support and needs in the moment. And so this is how all of the energies that come into the planet are working with you as uh, human beings in your structure of your current existence. And so it is easy for you to use this visual and to understand that you have the freedom to choose the information that you wish, and then you may do with it as you like. 
You may look at it and decide that perhaps it is not for you. You can return it to the stream. You may simply watch the stream as if you were watching uh, an entertainment device and simply watch the lights coming through. You may visualize it in uh, whatever way feels most comfortable to you. The information and the teachings that are in alignment with you and the way that you are working, you may pull into your energy, your thought, your consciousness, and that is anchoring the light. So this is where this expression, light anchor, light code anchor, is coming from because you are uh, taking from the vibration and the energy that is coming into the planet, into your energetic space, and allowing the information that you need to be part of you, and that is anchoring it into this physical dimension. Now, if you wish uh, an example that is more in the day-to-day, -day, if you are new to the concepts of uh, the light workers and the star seeds and energetics and spiritual awakening or whatever you want to call the experience that you are having in understanding that there is a more expanded way of living with your consciousness, then you may consider the concept and idea of activation. Now, this does not have to be uh, anything supernatural or uh, magical, but rather it is simply an awareness that comes to the forefront of your consciousness in your awakened mind that allows you a new perspective and a new point of view. And so you have opened yourself to the idea and concept of light codes and light language, and you have begun to allow them into your energy and your frame of reference. You begin to notice the synchronicities of information coming towards you. Perhaps you are connecting with others that are also doing this type of work and engaging with this energy. Perhaps you are doing your own research and finding that the more you look for it, the more it comes to you. Now, this is part of your energetic field in an attractive position, uh, attractive such as a magnet. You are attracting that which is similar. And so as you begin your interest and ideas and openness into light language, into light codes, into working with energies that are coming through uh, into the planet through your body and energetic being, you begin to attract more information about it. Now, of course, this will take you down into another discussion about discernment, but as a spiritual being, you are playing with the energy in these densities, learning and discarding what works and what does not. And so, uh, as a tangible idea, you are engaging with these ideas of light language. You may be doing a meditation or practicing an exercise, such as the one that we have shared. And as you do this, it is like pulling a call out to the universe and saying, I would like more information, please. And the information comes. And so you play with that. And the more that you do, the more it opens up your receptiveness. And this is how you begin to engage. Also very important is allowing yourself the time and the space to be with what comes forward, to allow yourself the different experience. As you know, uh, or perhaps are discovering, the light language can come through as direct light. Uh, you may see light reflected on a shiny surface, on the water, coming through the leaves in the trees, and it may suddenly feel to you that there is a pattern, that there is an intention. And this is, of course, you connecting into the light language in a frame of reference that works for you. Or you may see uh, the light language in a visual way, such as the work that we have created with this conduit, where you see reflective light in these metallic paints, where you are seeing codes of light and energy, where you are seeing shapes and glyphs and different symbols that represent the energy coming through. It is simply another way. Also is physical movement. Many will allow the light language to come through, into their body, which may create movement, uh, swaying, or uh, moving specifically, allowing it to come through the hands with different gestures, signs, and symbols. Others begin to speak. Others begin to sing. So the message we wish to impart to you is to not judge yourself or others, but to uh, approach it with the mind of an observer, with a curious 
thought and wonder. And this is how you will begin to play and experiment. And as you do that, you will find what works for you. And there is the answer you have been looking for. There is your way to be creative with the light and the energy and the language that comes through. We are representatives from the Ursa Minor Collective of Light. And it is with deepest gratitude for us to have been with you today. So there we go with the finished painting and the wonderful light codes that are the painting this time. I hope you enjoyed this process as much as I did and I found the exercise really interesting. I'm going to give it a try and I am really curious to know if it has touched you in any way and if so, please do feel free to leave a comment. You never know who you might be helping simply by sharing what you're going through in the comments. If you enjoyed this, or if you are looking for more like-minded community, don't forget to sign up for the newsletter to learn more about Star Seeds and a little bit about what's going on behind the scenes with me, with the art and the channeling and other Star Seed news. And also check out the free app on Telegram where you can join the Star Seed chat group and hang out with some like-minded people. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you taking the time and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day, beautiful starseeds.